So the latest leaks and spoilers of Jujutsu Kaisen is finally here, and we start with a chapter with Maharaga's wheel spinning for the second time, which means there's two more spins before Maharaga has actually adapted to Gojo's infinity, as everyone is yelling to Gojo to hurry up. So Gojo goes on ahead and he whips out his hands with the blue curse technique and summon these blue orbs. And then with these blue orbs, they wrapping around Sukuna and they're destroying everything that it touched, which Sukuna was able to dodge. So Gojo, he goes on ahead and moved to Sukuna's blind spot and attacked him and kicked him. And then we see that the wheel has turned for the third time. So one more spin left before Maharaga starts to adapt to Gojo. So Yuji asks, how does the wheel adapt to the technique? Does it adapt after some time or does it adapt when it's taking the attack twice? As Kusasabe says that Gojo is only using the blue curse technique so far. So then Gojo's plans to take Sukuna by surprise by giving him the impression that he's only using the blue technique. But then suddenly he attacked at one of Sukuna's blind spot by using the curse technique red. And then he was able to connect to Sukuna as Sukuna got hit. But Gojo's red didn't deal with much damage because Sukuna used domain amplification just in time as the wheel is started to turn black. But then he couldn't even fully neutralize the red because the limitless exchange. Sukuna taught Gojo by saying being sloppy and hesitant because your move was red, huh? But suddenly Gojo used red, which it was able to hit Sukuna as Sukuna didn't notice that the red technique was coming from him from behind because it was able to go onto his blind spot. As Sukuna is flying towards Gojo as he's being hit by the red technique, Gojo goes on ahead and activated one of the techniques that we saw in the beginning state of Jujutsu Kaisen, which is the black flash as he makes Sukuna's eyes turn white as it seems that Sukuna is knocked out but the wheel has fallen down from his head but suddenly it was able to spin for the fourth and final time which Gojo is trapped in the shadows and which means that Maharaga has appeared because he didn't stop the wheel from spinning for the fourth time as we see that Maharaga has adapted to his infinity and he was able to land a hit against Gojo as Yuji and Yuta are screaming sensei as Maharaga has appeared. And the chapter just pretty much ends as we see that the blade of Maharaga was able to land a hit on Gojo as Gojo is stunned and surprised to see him. And that's just pretty much what we got from the latest leaks and spoilers of Jujutsu Kaisen as we see that the trap card that Sukuna is able to use, the Maharaga, has fully activated and Gojo's plan on trying to stop Maharaga from appearing and adapting to his affinity has failed. But let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this latest leaks and spoilers and let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel. But those are all what we got from this latest chapter which is very crazy but we kind of suspected that Maharaga was going to appear again. But other than that, the next chapter, we're finally going to see Gojo versus Maharaga, which is going to be very interesting. But if you guys do like the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and remember, always be decent. It's the Monotone Man, and hope you guys have a wonderful day, and be safe out here. Peace.